found alive. Amanda Eller, a physical therapist who was lost on a hike in Maui, telling her story tonight for the first time since she was found after going missing for 17 days. I'm so grateful to be alive. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh my God, I had a warm bed that I got to sleep in and my body got to rest and to heal. My ankles are getting stronger, like grateful for every breath. Nick Watt is out front with the story of how she survived. 17 days missing in a Maui jungle. No phone, no GPS, no supplies. You have a choice to make. You could sit on that rock and you can die, or you can start walking down that waterfall and choose life. Amanda Eller's car was found at a trailhead on May 8th. Abducted, injured, vanished was all we knew, but she knew she was lost. You turn your head one way and it looks exactly like the other way, exactly like the other way. I'm like, which way is north? Hundreds joined the search. They could have just forgotten about me and said another missing person, no big deal. She followed wild boar tracks looking for a way out, slept in the same caves they did. And the helicopters are passing over and I'm standing on rocks and waving them down and they're passing over and they're not seeing me, I'm invisible. You lose hope. Then she got hurt. It was a 20 foot drop, it was a sheer cliff. The plants didn't hold me up, boom. She survived on berries, plants and river water then finally spotted from the air. I had a plant in my mouth that I was planning on eating for dinner. This the moment rescuers reached her. Sunburned, hurt, 15 pounds lighter, but alive. I just like fell to the ground and just started bawling. Oh my God. Eller's family threw a party for all who helped in that hunt. Her turn to cry. I'm just the girl that got lost in the woods. And you guys like showed up hard. Like this is like true aloha. Now, Amanda Eller says that this near-death experience changed her outlook on life. Money, possessions, they're not important. She says relationships and people are what matter. And one of the key people in this drama was a guy called Javier Cantalops. He is a veteran, two terms, two uh, tours in Afghanistan, one in Iraq. He was Amanda Eller's dive instructor. He was that emotional rescuer we heard there. For some reason, he never gave up, and I believe you're about to speak to him. I certainly am. And Nick, thank you so much. And just explaining the story, seeing her speak today. Um, let, let's talk to Javier now. I mean, Javier, you know, when she talks about friends, uh, you're obviously a friend to her and have been for years. How is she doing tonight? She is doing amazing. As you saw in her press interview, you know, she, her spirits are way up. She's starting to start the healing process, which I don't think it's going to be that long for her, you know, especially how strong she is and how, you know, how much knowledge she has with with her own body. So she's doing really, really good. She was looking beautiful last time I saw her. All right, so I wanna show everyone this incredible footage. This is you uh, filming when, as Amanda was helicopter out after you found her. So, so how did you figure out, Javier, where she was? She's talking about, you know, she got completely disoriented. She couldn't tell her direction. She's in there. It's been 17 days. How did you figure out where she was? Well, I don't know if we figured out where she was. I had a, I had a thought of where she was. Um, basically, we had been doing an extensive search for two and a half weeks in the immediate area. So, you know, out of speculation and going down different rabbit holes, I was like, no. The only reason we haven't found her is because she's got to be alive. She's got to be on the move, and she's got to be way farther than we think. But she's got 16 days on her, so we really need to investigate the area way past where we think that she may be. And we may need to do like a reconnaissance mission on a particular gold uh, stream area that we wanted to actually hike up on Sunday. We were actually going to take a hunt team up on Sunday, yeah. but that's really rugged terrain. So we needed to, get to see a lay of the land. So we decided to push out on the helicopter and, I mean, magic happened. It, I mean, okay, magic happens. So what happens the second you see her? Then the moment you see her, okay. 17 days, there's a part of you that, that thinks, okay, she might not be alive. Then you see her. I mean, Aaron, it was, I, I mean, it's like the most unexplainable feeling, elation. I shook the helicopter with my, with my scream. I screamed over the rotor walk. You know, it was just like the most incredible moment of my entire life. It was absolute magic, incredible elation. The single most incredible moment of my life. No doubt about it.
And, you know, it, I, the way these things work is that, it, look, police and firefighters do everything they can, but there's rules, right? After 72 hours, they suspend <laughs> the search. That's three days, just to be clear. Uh, 17 days went by. Amanda knew that was the policy. That's what she said today. And she would see some of those choppers flying over in those first few days. She could see them, but they did not see her. So then all of a sudden she realized they're not going to be flying anymore. Uh, and she That's was, right. So, so then... How did you hold out hope after those three days, when all those resources went away, that you could still find her? Oh no! When uh, I mean, all you know, all props to the fire and rescue, but they are on a set budget. You know, they are a set timeline. There are other rescues and emergencies happening here. And on that second day, when I joined the the the, the whole search, you know, my flip had already been switched. I was not. Not only was I not ever going to stop searching, but I was going to take over the whole thing, and we were going to continue on. So that's when I brought MAP. I put, you know, started putting uh, an orchestrated event in place, and then all the volunteers came and just took my little paper maps that I had printed up, and it just turned into a, a really professional, you know, search yeah. team and a coordination and really a really big family, you know? It was an incredible thing that really happened from just, just passion, you know? Well, it is an incredible it. thing. It is an incredible thing. And I, I know we are also, you know, to, hearing you talk about it, uh, I think, lifts many hearts. Thank you, Javier. Well, thank you so, thank you so much for having me, Aaron. It's been a pleasure to be on your show. Thank you. Thank you.